everyone, this is just a quick video um, showing you where I'm up to with my InMove build. So I'm currently working on the head. Uh, you might have seen it in a few of my other videos. I've not actually had it up and running for quite some time other than just plugging the camera in to see what it can see. So I want to show you what state it's in at the moment on my workbench. So it's in pieces. <laughs> That's the first thing. <laughs> So what I have been doing, um, there was a, one of the servos, um, I think I'd actually burnt this out. This little thing uh, really wasn't staying true. So if you, you set it to 90 degrees where the eyes are looking dead ahead uh, and you could set it to zero degrees and it would twitch a bit. And then you say 180 and it wouldn't, wouldn't move. So I think this thing is, uh, I think it's burnt out, something like that. Anyway, I've replaced it with a new one. And what I'm doing, um, if I just go over to my other screen here, Probably better view. Um, I've got Adafruit Servo Kit um, installed uh, and I'm just doing some command line stuff on here so if I just set this to say zero degrees you'll hear something and if I set it to 180 degrees you'll hear something else and then back to 90 and then let me show you on the overhead what's going on so I'm going to set that again to 180 degrees I'm going to set it to zero degrees and then I'm going to set it back to 90 degrees so that's working much better now. Um, got pretty much a free range of m motion there. So that's the uh, the eyes looking left and right. And then if I change the the channel on this, so let me go back to the software. I change the channel on this to channel. I think it's channel two. Let's try that and set. That's my overhead. So that's looking up, let's go to 180, looking down, and then back to 90. There we go. So I might well swap out that, that servo as well. I don't think one's behaving quite. That actually might just be to do with this little um, screw. I don't know if we can see that very well. But there's a there's a screw there, and it's uh, it's actually projecting out quite far so when when this thing tries to move um, I think it's hitting part of this here so I'm probably just going to chop that off I'll just get some um, pliers and I will then just chop that off try that again 180 zero that's better still seems to be catching though I wonder if that was upside down, would that work any better? Okay. I've actually not got this piece glued into place, this is just, uh, just slotting into place for now. Okay, let's try that again, so I just hold that. And then run the code. Let's try 180. Let's try zero. Let's try 90. That's much better. That's much better. So let's try that again. I'll just put that into place there for a second and we can just see what that looks like. Just move that out of the way a bit so it's not quite as dazzling there. Okay, let's try this again. So 90, let's try zero. Let's try 180. That's much better. Back to 90 again. And then set that to 180. Now, what, what's happened there is, it is turning. I've just not got that, that bit connected in there. <laughs> So I've got to screw it in. So let me just check back to 90 degrees. Now that we know that that works, we can screw that properly into place. And then that should be the eyepiece working as we want it to work. I know that there's another problem with the jaw. I think one of the plastic worm drives has broken. Uh, I have actually dropped this head maybe more than once and uh, I think it has damaged some other parts so let's just put that into place there for a second and let's just try that again with the looking left and right so let's try zero let's try back to 90 let's try two look there look 
180 zeros. So that's not quite right there. So when it tries to look, that might be just a limitation of the range of motion. So at the moment it's really trying to push that out. So maybe we need to set a limit so that it doesn't quite go to zero. Yeah, it's really not happy with that. Just make sure I've not lost any of my pins there. It's just complaining about on the code there. If I just go back up to the screen, it just says IO error. That occurs usually when it pushes some of these pins out of place and the servos sort of lose connectivity with the board. There we go. So let's just see what's a reasonable range of motion there. So that's 50 degrees. So what I'll do now, um, just go back to the overhead chop. I'm just going to put the head back together. Uh, well, parts of the face anyway. Uh, I do seem to have two different types of screw on here that have different sizes of hex nut on it. So yeah, that's the one for that. So I'm just going to screw in these bottom cheek parts and then have a look at the head. using a Raspberry Pi there as well you can see to uh, control it. so if I just hold it up like that so he's looking straight up at you so let's now just uh, check let's try 130 so that's looking down looking up okay and then let's try side to side zero let's try 180 <laughs> let's try 90 there we go Perfect. Quite a few more things that I need to do uh, to get this up and running again. So I need to sort out that, that damaged worm drive that's uh, the thing that controls the jaw. And I also need to screw in the neck. Um, it's one of the, the larger pieces there as well. I don't think I've ever actually attached that. I might even print out some of the other pieces. I've got my white PLA on the 3D printer there. Uh, because when I originally printed this one, it was with a, a much cheaper printer, and uh, you can see from the design, from the the overall look, some of these pieces are quite a poor fit, and that was because the printer I had at the time, um, as well as not having it dialed in, it wasn't a very accurate printer. So I might actually reprint some of those pieces. So I hope you enjoyed this. This was my InMove head, and uh, bringing it to life with some code um, over on the Raspberry Pi. So um, and you can see there, I'm just in the Python interpreter, um, not doing anything fancy. Um, just bringing in the Adafruit uh, servo kit and the Adafruit PCA9685 board, which is what I'm I'm using here to control. It's just hiding underneath there. So we've used these in the quad robots. So these these quad robots, they have them at the back there for controlling all the different servos. Exactly the same servos, same same control the SG90s, uh, and then there's some much larger ones as well inside. So. Thought you'd be interested to see that. Um, thanks for watching and I shall see you next time.